Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Brown. Last time we um, exited the Castro Forest into this route, so now we're fighting some more of these trainers. Starting with this repair man, 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 who can repair anything, even my pathetic training ability. Yeah, anyways, um, I'm starting to think uh, this route kind of reminds me of that route next to uh, Lieutenant Surge's city. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. You know the route right by Diglett's Cave. This place kind of looks like the same type of layout, but I'm not really positive yet. Anyways, this guy's got an Electabuzz, which is pretty interesting. Usually these repairmans would have, like, Magnemites, but cool boy man, you know, took it up a notch, and now they got Electabuzzes, so hopefully Walter, even though I'm at a type disadvantage, I can still probably take care of him with Dig. And I'm actually not sure if Electabuzz even has any Electro-type moves at this point. I'm not positive, because I know he doesn't learn, um, leveling up moves for quite some time. But I don't know if he has, like, Thundershock or anything even, but whatever, we'll find out. I could go to Dumbo and make it a lot easier, but I might as well just get some experience with Walter because Walter really needs to evolve into a Slowbro. I mean, he's pretty much the only Pokemon that hasn't evolved, so yeah. And Dig's still not calling him in one hit. Oh well, confusion. And yeah, he just keeps using Quick Attack, so I don't know, maybe he doesn't have Thundershock or anything. Or maybe this Repairman's just stupid and doesn't want to use super effective hits, I don't know. That's probably more likely. And he's got a third Electabuzz, so... Another dig in confusion should take this out. And Leer! Wow. Yeah, this guy's just an idiot. He <laughs> He's using Leer over and over now. Alright, dig. And whoa, it took it out that time! It wasn't even a critical hit. Weird. Oh well, we got a bunch of experience. Got up a level. So now I think... Oh, whoa! We're learning Water Gun! We're at level 33 and we're learning Water Gun! Isn't that just great? Wow, I mean, didn't we learn Octazooka at, like, level 10? <laughs> what the heck? Like... If I, if I knew I was going to learn a water move now, I'd expect it to be something, like, awesome, but... Eh, whatever. I guess in the original game, Slowpoke learns Water Gun at 33 or whatever it's at. Um, but anyways, guys, really quickly, um, I'm going to check out some of the wild Pokemon in this route because um, I only have four Pokemon on my team right now, and I kind of want to get a fifth one, so I'm going to check out some of the wild Pokemon, and if there's anything good, I will let you guys know. So, yeah, I'm just going to check it out in this grass over here. Alright guys, check out what I found, it's a Taurus. Now, I definitely did not expect to find Taurus in the wild, but Taurus has just been like a Pokemon I've had my eye on from the start of the game, and I'm like, if I found a Taurus, I would definitely add that to my team. And here it is, so um, I'm really glad I found this. In the original game, you could only get them in the Safari Zone, so I never really used it much back in the Red and Blue days, so I really want to add this to my team. So yeah, um, if you didn't notice Walter's paralyzed right now, I ran into a wild Ekans and he used Glare on me. Um, so that kind of screwed me over, and I also found stuff like Drowsy and Farfetch'd and Arbok too, if you guys are interested in those wild Pokemon. Um, and really quickly I think I'm going to switch out because I don't really want Walter to die. I'm not too thrilled about that idea. So let's go ahead and switch over to Chester. Hopefully I can use a bite, get him down to a little bit of HP, then um, start throwing Great Balls. And I only have three Great Balls, and I wasn't expecting to find um, Taurus, because Taurus is pretty hard to catch. I wasn't expecting it to be a Pokemon this hard to catch, so hopefully three Great Balls is enough. And I think I can probably start using them right now, so yeah. And let's cross our fingers, because if I run out, I won't have anything to catch it with. Alright, there we go, that was easier than I thought. One try, nice. <laughs> so yeah, Taurus is going to go to the PC, but um, once we get to the next city, we will take him out and start using him. And nickname, I have not thought of anything, but... One thing I've been doing this in this game, I just thought of something. Just the first random name that I think of, I'm just using. <laughs> like, I'm actually using real life names. I don't know why, I just thought it'd be fun. So, you're gonna be called Kenny. <laughs> yeah. I only didn't do that for uh, Don Fan, just because I had to call it Dumbo. I mean, like, how can you not call it Dumbo? But, anyways, yeah, it's gonna be in my PC now. So, let's move up Chester, and I can't wait to get that out because Taurus is just a beast. It can learn a lot of great moves. Um, well, yeah, a lot of normal types in this game can learn a lot of good moves. And, yeah, we're gonna fight this guy. And actually, not just in Red and Blue, in pretty much all games, normal types can learn a lot of cool moves like Thunderbolt and Ice Beam and stuff like that, which makes no sense. Like, I don't know how a Wild Bull can possibly strike down Thunder, but Taurus can do it, so it's gonna be sweet. So, yeah, this guy's got a Jolteon, so apparently there's a lot of Electric types over here since the last dude had an Electabuzz. But, good thing all my Pokemon have Dig, so yeah. And I'm actually, I'm not sure how strong Dig is, is in this move because Nintendo kept changing their minds, like, Dig was 80 base power, then it was 60, then it was like, they kept switching it over and over and stuff. 
But I think it's probably 80 base power. That's what it was in the original game, so yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I am starting to think this route is the same one that's next to Diglett's Cave in Red and Blue because it just kind of seems like the same area. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to use a Super Repel. I don't know. Do you guys... What do you guys think? Do you think this is the same route that's next to Diglett? I don't remember what the route was called, but it definitely looks like it, just the way the trainers are aligned and stuff. I could be wrong, though, but whatever. So, yeah, we're going to fight this youngster dude over here, and he has a Nidorino. All right. Um, so, let's go ahead and... I think... Was it fire types that were super effective against poison? I don't remember. Oh, no, wait, no, that's right. They were super effective against coughings, which were, like, gas type or something like that. I don't know. I still need to get all these types, like, down because... I don't know. If, I don't know if there's, like, a thing online that shows them all for brown, but whatever. If you guys have, like, any, um... If there's any type changes, like, super effective and stuff that I should know about, um, if you guys know, if you left a comment, that'd be great. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Dig's gonna be more powerful than Flamethrower since it's super effective. Even with the stat, it's probably a little even, but I'll go with Dig and it looks like it's gonna work, so yeah. There we go! Too much, too young. Yeah, you're just a youngster. Even though I'm technically like 10 years old in this game, apparently youngsters are even younger than me. And this gambler just wants some big time money playing craps. Isn't that the game uh, where you roll like two dice and then I think if you get like 7 or 11, then you win. I don't know, something like that. Anyways, this guy's got a Weeping Bell! Oh boy, that brings back good memories of Pokemon Leaf Green. Ah, but anyways, this thing's gonna die. <laughs> With Flamethrower. That's perfect for Arcanine, fighting a Weeping Bell. And, let's see. Ooh, wow, a lot of experience and a level up. And he's got a Gloom. Wow, I guess this guy wasn't prepared to fight an Arcanine. Oh, and by the way, um, a lot of people were saying that like, it's not Arcanine, it's Arcanine. I mean, seriously, Arcanine, Arcanine, like, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not if I, it's not like if I say Arcanine, you guys are, like, clueless, like, what is that? It's like, you all know what I'm talking about, and that's just how I pronounce it, so, you know. If someone else pronounces it different, I don't really care. We can all pronounce Pokemon however we want. If you call Pikachu, like, Pikachu or something, you know, that's fine with me. Anyways, let's go through here. And maybe this is gonna be the next city, hopefully, I don't know. And Oh, Snorlax! Well, good thing we have the Poke Flute with us, and guys, I'm gonna take a quick break. I will be back in a minute. Alright, let's get out the Poke Flute. Now, guys, the reason I took a break really quickly is because I wanted to think about something. I started thinking, like, Snorlax. Do I want to use a Snorlax on my team? And I know I just got Taurus, but then I was thinking, like, Snorlax Taurus are kind of similar Pokemon. And I took a minute to think if I wanted to use Snorlax instead. But I decided, you know what the heck, I already caught Taurus, I already used my Great Balls, I'm not gonna change my mind, so... We're not gonna catch a Snorlax, although, I always like using Snorlax on my team, but... Just the fact that I haven't really ever used Taurus is just... Uh, that just makes me want to use it more. So, um, I don't have any Great Balls, I can catch this thing, we're just gonna run away. I mean, I don't even want to bother fighting this thing, it's probably gonna kill me anyways, so let's leave it in peace. I mean, it's a sleeping Snorlax, we woke it up, we should just let it go in peace, you know? So yeah, run away from it, then you can go right back on. And, let's see. Um, I'm gonna cut down this tree, because I can use my Oddish. Now, I guess you can go north, I don't really know what's up there, but I just wanna check down here, because there might be an item or something. Seems like a place they'd put an item, and there's like a random patch of grass right there, I don't know what's in there. But anyways, let's... This is actually pretty long. Hopefully there's a good item or something. And... Some more grass. Ooh, a trainer! Okay, so maybe this is actually, um... The route I'm supposed to take towards the next city, who knows? Have you found a Moonstone? I don't even remember if I found a Moonstone. It seems like I have, but I could be wrong. I've forgotten a lot of stuff I've done in this game. And I guess this guy found a Moonstone because he has a Nido King. Oh, and Nido King's another one of those Pokemon that I pronounce differently. I call it Nido King, other people call it Nido King. But then again, you know, you say tomato, I say tomato. You say Nido King, I say Nido King, no one cares. Except for you. The one person complaining is like the only one who cares ever. And, um,. Yeah, this Nido King is level 41. I didn't even notice that. Wow. That's really high. <laughs> My Pokemon are all, like, level 33. This thing's over 40. And you have a Nido Queen. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Dumbo, because Chester's gonna die soon. Um, yeah, this guy's got Nido King and a Nido Queen level 41. That's pretty tough. Hopefully, I don't know, if this is go towards the next city, then maybe that's just, like, a hint. The game's gonna get a lot harder at this point. I don't know. Um, hopefully it did. Well, I don't know. Nido King has really... Nido Queen has really great defense, so yeah, that's why it lived. And try attack. 
Always a good move to finish it off. What? It doesn't affect- Oh, that's right, because it's- Yeah, Tritech has the electric in it, so it's ground type, so it doesn't work. Jeez, Tritech's really confusing. It's like three types in one. The Tri-type or whatever, so... Dang it, Rollout didn't kill it! Dang it! Wow. I didn't ex- Like, I knew Rollout wasn't gonna do a lot, but I was expecting to at least kill it. Oh yeah, and I forgot, Rollout turns into Rage. Yeah, it's like one of those weird glitches, but whatever, at least we killed the thing. So, um, yeah, we got up to level 34, and that battle took a while, so this is a great stopping point. Um, yeah, we beat this trainer. We'll just see if there's anything done. Oh, no, this is a blocked off area. So, guys, that's all the time we have for now. Next video, we're probably going to go north towards that other direction and hopefully get to the next city. So I will see you all next time.